Good afternoon, everyone. New guest essay by David Archibald, taking us up to the current state of our sun, entering its grand solar minimum. Not only is solar cycle 24 well below any of the last solar cycles over the last 120 years, the amount of cosmic rays far above anything in the last 100 years as well. And as we enter into solar cycle 25, it's going to grow from this point forward. Another 19% increase over solar cycle 24. They're looking at trends. Why don't we look at trends as well? Not the sun, but the weather, the effects from the sun. Adelaide shivers through the coldest start to winter ever recorded. Coldest June 1st on record since 1943 and further back unofficially into the late 1890s. Now, as always, in a city, it's going to be warmer than in the surrounding countryside where it was pushing minus 2.9, minus 4.5 C. Now, since we're looking at the trend, all we're going to do is look into Australia. Let's go back 2016 in July. Cold wave. Adelaide coldest start in nearly 30 years. Adelaide coldest August in 126 years. 2014, 15, and 16, and now 2017. Every single year in Adelaide is showing cold. Australia itself, New South Wales, wintry blast two months early. 20 centimeters of snow when it should have been sunny and warm, taking everybody by surprise. Jumping over to New Zealand, we should be looking for a trend there as well. 2017, fierce polar blast in the middle of summer. Worst winter storms in decades. They're even calling it the lost summer in New Zealand. It's snowing in the middle of summer in New Zealand. Heaviest summer snowfalls in living memory. Yet nobody sees the trend. It's invisible. We're staying in the southern hemisphere. Let's talk about Brazil. Record cold threatening corn production. Winter starting two months early in Brazil as well this year. Coldest temperatures in Brazilian cities in 46 years. Let's jump back to last year. Coldest September in 50 years. So much record cold, in fact, affecting coffee production in 2016. Argentina not immune either. Border passes already closing due to snow and cold and hail. The measured galactic cosmic rays are up 13% over the last two years, but it's forecast to increase another 19% in solar cycle 25. So as we see these galactic cosmic rays increasing, which we have through solar cycle 24, they create more cloud cover. That's why you're seeing heavier rainstorms, heavier snowstorms. I encourage you to look at the cloud mystery, Spensmark, the work that's being conducted by their team, as well as the team at CERN, C-E-R-N, cloud project number six. Now, if there's been this much atmospheric compression event, lateral winds, massive 500-year floods week after week after week, just because of that small incremental increase that you've seen from solar cycle 23 to 24, we're going to add another 19% on that, which means everywhere you look across the planet is going to start to have severe crop losses due to frost, winds, and out-of-season snows, just like South Africa, another trend. 2016, let's look at it. Below normal temperatures, re near record cold. Let's go back to 2014, 2013, and 2012. Anything in South Africa? Oh yeah, record low, record low, record low broken. You can see the trend if you open your eyes and start looking. The reason I bring this to your attention is the Southern Hemisphere is going into its winter. So what do you expect to happen this winter? You're seeing the trends in front of you. Why don't you try your best to predict where it's going to get cold and where we'll have record snows and crop losses. Look on the map, put a point, color code it, and see how your predictions pan out over the next year. And please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the content in the video. And please remember, Food for Liberty, during these times you're going to have to grow your own food as well as start considering long-term food storage. Foodforliberty.com slash Adapt 2030. This will get you started on your research.